get a rare glimpse behind the scenes of a beautiful life. The social media darling coming clean about the painful toll it takes just to try to keep up appearances. What really goes into those envy-inducing photos? And why are some now questioning her motives? I quit social media for my 12-year-old self. Asina O'Neill's 19-year-old self seemed picture perfect on Instagram. More than a half million followers, a glamorous, cool teenager, seemingly living the dream, making a career off social media. But two days ago, this shocking confession on YouTube. Yeah. I was miserable. I had it all and I was miserable because when you let yourself be defined by numbers, you let yourself be defined by something that is not pure, that is not real, and that is not love. She said it would be her last YouTube post and that she'd shut it all down. Taking myself off social media is a wake-up call to anyone and everyone who follows me. She deleted most of the thousands of photos on her wildly popular Instagram account. And the few she left up, she changed their captions to reveal what she says really was going on. Not real life. I didn't pay for the dress, took countless photos trying to look hot for Instagram. And she writes, not real life, took over a hundred in similar poses trying to make my stomach look good. And there is nothing zen about trying to look zen, taking a photo of you trying to be zen and proving you're zen on Instagram. Asina pulling the curtain back on what she says is the painful cost of trying to look flawless online. Everything I did was for views, for likes, for followers. But her takedown of social media was catapulting her star even higher, an outpouring of support online from all over the world, including celebrities like actress Sophia Bush, who posted, my girlfriends and I spent the better part of yesterday discussing Asina O'Neill's awesome serving of social truth. Check this out. The support prompting her to make one more video post. I just feel so grateful that, that this is being spread, that this is actually getting out there. Asina told us via Skype from her native Australia that she never intended to create a big fuss. What I'm saying isn't revolutionary, but I just think it's a discussion we worth having with how much value we put into just putting photos of ourselves online. And I think, you know, as I said, I spent five years wishing to be this perfect person online, and I spent three years every day working really hard at it. And I think if people understood just the amount of effort and time that goes into perfecting your life like that and being that consistent, then I think that wouldn't be so aspirational. I think, um, I think the reality is quite, is quite sad. She started dabbling in social media as a tween in middle school. I actually used MySpace for six months when I was 12. And then I, was, I think I was 14 is when Instagram came out and I used it then. Um, yeah, it was just like a selfie um, that I put up and I remember so clearly like hoping it would get some likes, you know, as I think we all do. I think when we put something out about ourselves, it's normal to want to feel valued. She posted more, got more followers, polishing her Instagram game, posing hundreds of times for photos like this one. Her image is so alluring, she says she started getting paid to post, something she realized many of her followers didn't know. Like, what, paid Instagram posts? And then I was like, what, people don't know this? She says it's one of the reasons for the change of heart. Another? I guess it was talking to my sister, she's 14, and hearing about, like we were talking about, I said to her this thing where I was like, when I was your age, you know, I looked at models and I remember actually measuring my stomach and looking in the mirror thinking, am I like them? Why aren't I like them? And she burst out in tears and said, I do that. And it was just like far out, you know. This girl is standing up for other girls and giving them permission to stop trying to be so perfect online. She's saying, this is fake. What we're doing is fake. And you don't have to feel badly about yourselves because nobody can look like me without trying so hard. But not all the reaction has been so positive. Her detractors posting YouTube responses saying her regret is fake. When she says they're all miserable, I, who is Asina talking about? Is she talking Including about? two of her former friends from L.A., also with huge, carefully cultivated social media followings. The only reason she can spread this message of how social media is so horrible is because of social media. Some questioning her true motives because of this. If this is of value to you, then yeah, please support me because I can't afford my own real life. I but she life. says but, you know, money and publicity kind of wasn't her goal. I don't want likes, I don't want followers, not views. You know what I mean? That was just kind of my own personal 
One, the pressure to present a perfect image of yourself on social media seems inescapable. On Instagram, girls feel like they have to put forward the most perfect picture of themselves. So girls will spend all day taking the perfect selfie and filtering it and making it absolutely flawless before they put it up. Social media competitiveness can create bad blood, something Instagram queen Taylor Swift, with more than 53 million followers, warns her fans about. I'm very well aware that it has never been easier to compare yourself to other people and feel like your life falls short. It's never been easier than it is in 2015. More and more, teens are spending vast amounts of time consuming media, up to nine hours a day, according to a recent report. No one says, oh my gosh, I had the best night on YouTube last night. It was amazing. Oh, that night on Instagram, <laughs> eight hours, oh, best time of my life. Like, we don't say that because nothing takes over real human connections. But there are plenty of people who have made real human connections online, like YouTube stars Joshua oh, Evans and Colleen Ballinger. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> whose romance has been faithfully documented for millions of viewers on YouTube. And there are plenty happily cashing in on their social media popularity, like Matthew Nazca, whose modeling career was launched thanks to his Instagram feed. But Asina says, for her, a picture-perfect life is not one lived on Instagram. And that's a personal decision I've made. And I think not everyone has to do it. That's not what I'm saying, you know? She says she's now focusing on her life offline and wants her followers to do the same. I just think give yourself a break and see what happens. Experiment. Talk about it with people in your real life. Don't just sit on a phone reading articles and then replying. Talk about it to people around you. Talk about it to yourself. She's achieved her intended goal of dropping out of the fray so effectively I, that since this interview last night, we can't even get a hold of her.